Firstly, I wanted to, to thank again uh, Jean-François and, uh, and Catherine for inviting me there because uh, I'm just coming back from uh, Manila and uh, I was saying at the beginning in my mind, what will I do there? What do I have to share with people working in cosmetic, whereas, whereas I am working in, in slums in, uh, in Philippines or in, in other countries? And uh, thinking about it, I, I, I was wondering, maybe, maybe we have a path uh, to explore, uh, and uh, maybe some link to create between your industry and our industry, my, microfinance. As Phil um, was saying, I've been, uh, during 12 years, a banker. So today, it's, it's an awful world to, 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 to tell, but uh, I have been taking charge of, uh, of, ma of many, many rich people as, as I was working in, uh, in private banks uh, like uh, Merrill Lynch and uh, other private banks in, in, in Paris. And I felt it was not very interesting to take, to take charge, uh, to, to follow these, these people, because humanly speaking, you are in front of people uh, who are thinking, only thinking about their cash. And uh, at the end of the story, I was saying to myself, okay, it's, it's, it, technically it's very interesting, but humanly speaking, there is nothing in front of me. And uh, my feeling is that, that I was spending more time to, uh, in meetings in the banks I was working for or uh, time, many times to kill my neighbors to be sure that I, I can upgrade my, my career. You, know, you all know that for sure. And uh, one day, by hazard, I discovered microcredit, and I have the, the luck, the chance to, to live in, a, in an audit trip with one of the biggest French NGO, which name is ACTED. It is the second largest NGO in France. And I discovered in, in Tajikistan what microcredit is and mat, what globally mat, microfinance is. And I fall in love with this new kind of finance, a useful finance compared to the useless in my mind, uh, the useless finance I was working, uh, coming from. And I decided to, to change my career, to, to, to move, completely move my, my, my life and to dedicate my career to, to microfinance. And in 2006, uh, I decided to work one year, during one year for ACTED, helping them with my financial network, with all the guys I know we, we, who are very rich people, to, to raise money and to, to help ACTED to develop its uh, its own microfinance institution networks. And, uh, and then in 2006, I discovered the first, what we said, microfinance peer-to-peer -peer website, uh, which has been created in, in the US. And when I discovered that, I said, we have to create a such ID in France and uh, in Europe. But before speaking about that, I would like to, to tell you a little story, the story of Hela. Hela is a... Uh, woman living in, uh, in Manila, in the slums in Manila. And uh, one day, she, uh, her, her mother died. And uh, you know how it happens when uh, your mother died, or when a relative died in the slums, in terms of inheritance. It's very easy. You go under the bed of your mother, you take the bag with the, with the cash, and then the inheritance is, is down. And uh, this woman, Hela, went to see the manager of our microfinance institution partners uh, in, uh, in Manila and said, I have my inheritance, my little bags with the, with the cash. What can I do with that? And the manager of the institution said, said to Ella, it's very easy. Go at the end of the street, you go to the bank and you open an, you, you open an account and you, you make a deposit with your cash. It's very easy to do that. And the woman, Ella, went to the... To, to, to the to, to the path and, and to go to the bank. And in the evening, the manager of the, the, the institution came back home and walking just in front of the, the bank, saw Ella sit on the street, still with uh, her, her bag with the, with the cash. And she said, what are you doing there? I said you to go to the bank with your cash. And Ella said, I am at the bank. She was just sitting in the street in front of the bank, and she was waiting for the bank to come to see her and to, to, take, it, to, to take her cash. She didn't know she had to push the door to hunt her in the bank and to open, to open an account. That's the universe we are working in in microfinance. Do you know that 80% of people on the planet don't have access to the bank. Do you know that 90% of people in the world don't have access to credit? It's a 
very huge figure we don't know because we all have one, two, maybe three bank, bank accounts in France, but it's not the case in the, in the majority of the case in the majority of, of, of countries in, in the world. And uh, that's the reason why microcredit and microfinance appears in, in, in the world. Because when we are thinking about th these figures, there is another one you have to know. Do you know the, the, the rate of the, the amount of people in France who intend to create a company? You have an idea. The, the ratio is 15%. And when you, you ask in slums, once again in Manila, for instance, how many people want to create their, their home business, their own business to, to live, the rate is 50%. 50% of people in very poor country, countries want to create their own business to, to live because it's the only way to earn money because there, you can't be employees. The only way is to create your business, to, to generate revenues and then to live. And, uh, it's very strange because when you want to create your business, you need financial resources. And we are in place, once again, where people can't have access to bank. So the only way is to ask your relative, can you give me some money so that I can, I can, I can launch my business? But they live in the slums too, so they don't have cash. And the other way is to go to see the, 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 the loan sharks, we say, the money laundering. So the money lender and, and money lender used to lend you cash with a rate between 200 and 400 percent per year. It's not a, a, it's not credit like we know like we know in France. And these figures explain you the huge success of microcredit. Microcredit are these this very small credit. Some, sometimes. $50 are enough to, to, to launch a business in, in slums uh, in South countries. And it explains a huge success of micro, microcredit since the time the Professor Yunus, uh, which relaunched the microcredit 30 years ago, and he became a uh, Nobel Prize in 2006. It explains a huge success of, of microfinance. And the second aspect of microcredit, which is a very, very interesting uh, uh, aspect, is we are in front of a, a, a tool, a dignity tool. When we are thinking about development tools, NGOs and stuff like that, we used to assist people we are, who are in need. In microfinance, finance, it's not the case. We just help people to, to, to go out of poverty by themselves, by their, their business. And as I, I always say, it's for me the the better uh, tool of, uh, of dignity for, uh, for people. So, what we are? I created uh, Babylon uh, uh, three years ago. Uh, what is Babylon? But not only Babylon, there are today maybe over 20 such websites in, in, in the world. The idea of this web website, and once again, it appears six years ago in, in, in the US. The first one is Kiva. It is a huge, a huge uh, website. D does someone know knows Kiva there? Who knows Kiva there? Ah, not, not a lot. And who knows Babylon? More Babylon than Kiva. I'm very happy. Thank you. Uh, but... but Kiva appeared six years ago, and it became a huge, a huge website on microcredit. So I didn't invent it anything. Uh, when, I, when I wake up in the morning, I said, thank you, Kiva. And my God is not Shiva. My, my God is, is Kiva for sure right now. And, you know, what is the idea? Microfinance developed uh, for uh, 30 years with institutional, because one, what we say, a microfinance institution needs to raise cash to make loans, micro loans to, to, to their beneficiaries. So they need, they need to find cash. But during 30 years, microfinance institution, institution used to develop their activities in the institutional side, raising cash with uh, uh, local banks, with uh, uh, microfinance, uh, mutual fund, and stuff like that. And the idea of Kiva was six years ago to, to create the link between you between the public and microcredit beneficiaries. And the, the, the idea of, of such website, what we, sh we, we say microcredit peer-to-peer -peer website, is to propose for the public to come on the website. On the website, you will find some people, some 
some individual project you can sponsor, you can finance. And you will see on the website the picture of someone in, uh, in Manila, in, uh, in, Af in some countries in Africa. You will have the explanation of the microcredit. What is the amount needs by this person to develop its own activities? And then the story of the, p of the person. Uh, who is this, this, this person? What is business? Uh, the business? The story of, the, uh, of, of her family. And by this, uh, this presentation, people will come on the website and will be able to, not to give, it's not a grant, but to lend the, the, the amount uh, which is needed by, by this person with, with his, his, his credit card. And this new way of... Um, of, of helping people because we are on philanthropic tools uh, created a, 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 re, a real revolution in the development uh, in, in, the, in, in the web industry. So, what happened? <laughs> Thank you. What, and how to create the link between uh, what we are speaking about for two days, the perfect product, and what we are doing in microfinance uh, uh, with, the, with the web. There is a, a theory, maybe you know, which is a theory of a blue ocean. Who knows theory of blue ocean? The same number as Babylon, I think. We've must, and what is the theory of blue ocean? When we, when we think about, uh, about new product, and maybe why not perfect product? 99% of companies who want to create a new product use to create a new product which somewhere is the same as other projects already existing on the market. I want to create a new car. I am BMW. I will create a, 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 nice, a nicer car, a very comfortable car, a very uh, powerful car. But somewhere it will be a new car uh, competing within the other such cars in the same category. I will fight in, in the, the other product, in the other same products. I will fight in a red ocean, in a blue ocean, because with my new product, which is similar to the other, I will fight with the, the other product of my competitors. It is a red ocean, the blood ocean. And 99% of the products we create, you create, every, every company is created, are fighting in, the, in, in this red ocean. Why? Because it's very comfortable. I know that the BMW uh, number X is a good product, so I will create the, the same product, not exactly the same, but very, very, a very close product, not something different. And the theory of the blue ocean theory is something else. It's a theory with which you think that you can create something completely different. And in, despite creating the same car as, I, as the other, you will create a completely different car, a new product. Let me show you an, an example. Uh, in the industry of gaming platform, you know, uh, Xbox, uh, uh, PlayStation, one, two, three, four, five, uh, what are they doing? They are building new platform, but the new platform has to be uh, better than the, the former one. So it will, be, uh, it will have a, a nicer design, the, gra the, 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 the drawing will be more precise, you will, you will insert 3D images, the uh, definition will be higher. And, but it's the same product as, as the former product, better, but same. And same product as the other plat gaming platform. And one day, a guy say, maybe I should create another kind of platform. I will create a platform with a very simple draw, with a very low definition, with, with, with tool uh, with which people can, can have fun in family. And this guy creates the Wii. The Wii is a completely new product. Nobody thinks, nobody think about it before. And by creating a new product, is going, is going from the red uh, ocean to blue ocean. This new product is the only one on a new market, and it's a huge success. And there are many examples in the, in the industry of what we call blue ocean. Think about a recent one uh, in Paris. Everybody is driving a scooter. Uh, Piaggio decided one day to create a new kind of, of scooter, which is a three-wheel uh, uh, three, uh, scooter. It's a new kind of product, and it's a huge success. 50% of the scooters which are, which, are, which are 
bought by in, in, in Paris right now are the new, uh, uh, new kind of, of, of scooter. This is the blue ocean. And you got, when, you, when you launch a new product in the blue ocean, you have a, a very long time before the time the competitors understand uh, you, you will be successful and follow you. You will be the star. And it's the same thing with uh, our product. What I say, microcredit peer-to-peer -peer website. What are we doing? If we want to compete in the, in, to compete in the, in the red ocean, like NGOs are doing, there may be something you don't know, but competition within uh, 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 NGOs universe is much more strong than competition in your industry. Why? Because the, the, the amount of cash which is invested every year in, in development is like a cake, but it's a cake which is reducing every, every year. And all the NGOs have to fight all together to share this cake uh, uh, between uh, each, each, each of them. In your, in your industry, it's not the case. If you are a good worker, if you've got good products, you will make your market grow. It's not the case in the development industry. That's the reason why uh, NGOs are very, very uh, competitive and, and fighting all together, even if it, it, you never... Well, I don't say to you that because it's not something we can do in, in the universal development, but it's the case. It's the case. And what happened with microcredit peer-to-peer -peer website? It's a blue ocean. Because what are we doing? We created a new way of philanthropy uh, completely different of what NGOs are proposing to public. What are they proposing to public? NGOs are saying, give me grants for, to help a, a, a general or a global causes. Okay? And all NGOs uh, working with public are doing the same thing. We are doing the contrary. We are explaining people that they can help people not on a big cause, but choosing the person they will help a small project, a small dedicated project, firstly. And secondly, we say, no, no, you won't give money. You will lend money. Because we are on microcredit, it's a, the expression of dignity is not assisted people, it's just lending people, and you will be paid back. It's a new kind of approach. I don't like to say product, but it's a a strongly new approach, it's a blue ocean. That's the reason why such platforms in the world are, are, are meeting a huge, huge success. And Babylon, I created with a, uh, with a, friend, of my, a, friend, a friend of mine, Aurélie Dutois, Babylon, three years ago, and we became the largest such platform in Europe and the second in the world after Kiva, but Kiva is, is, is a so big one. So it's a real successful. And uh, making the link with our discussion, uh, how to find the perfect product. The first path is, for sure, think blue ocean. The second path is, uh, and we are speaking about that for, for two days right now, the three dimension of, of product we are, we are speaking uh, yesterday and today, today again. We have the definition of the perfect planet, and you all know we spoke this morning about the triple bottom line, and uh, the definition of the perfect planet Global products, the perfect planet, is sustainable development for sure. With the three P theory, so people, planet, profit, you all know, you, you all know that. We can't, uh, we, we can't live in a, in a, in a, in a polluted and a, in a polluted planet and we can't live in a non-sustainable economy on the planet and we, we can't live in a non-polluted non -polluted planet if, if 80% of, the, of people living in, on, on this planet are poor people. I'm, once again, I'm coming back from, from Philippines. In Philippines, population is, uh, is over 90 million people. 70 million people are living under the, the, the line, the level of poverty. It's a, huge, it's a huge issue in the world, but you all know that. There is, a, there is another theory, and once again, it's like three dimensions theory, the stool theory, the stool theory for a company. You know this stool, this, this small chair is the, with three legs uh, we can use sometimes. And there is a, the, the stool theory says that for a company, for you, a company is a Stand up on three feet. It's shareholders, it's clients, and it's employee. If you cut one leg of the stool, it falls down. 
it's a, it's a huge question thinking about what is happening all over in the world and in capitalism paradigms we are all think, thinking and speaking about on, on the news. But once again, it's a question of three dimension. And I think, I strongly think it's the same thing for your product. And I was thinking before arriving, what about cosmetic products? Do they, uh, do they, are, do they have the three dimension we are speaking about? And I was thinking, I'm saying, no, in my mind, maybe I'm wrong, I'm sorry, I don't know your industry. But uh, in my mind, there is only two P in your, in your product. You've got the planet, for sure, because you, are, you all are thinking about biodiversity, about, Im about social impact with your producers. So you are all thinking about, about planet, for sure. You have the profit dimension because you, are, you all are companies looking for, for profit, and it's normal. But I was thinking, do you have the, the, the social dimension? Do you, have, do, you have, do you really have the people dimension in your product? And not, thinking, not only thinking about the sources of your product, the producer, biodiversity, people living in the biodiversity, biodiversity but, but adding the other side of your product, maybe the client and the investment, uh, the social investment of the, of the, of the company. You've got wonderful product in, in, in cosmetic. Nobody can, can contest that. That's true. But when I'm walking in the, in the, in the underground uh, in the morning, I often say, but people are in, and in Paris, it's really the case. And I say, but people are so gray in the morning. And despite the fact they use your product, your product every day. So there is a problem, I, I think. Why are they still so gray in the underground every, every morning? What's missing? And I was, thinking, may, I was thinking, maybe some human values are missing, not only in your product, but in the way of living of every Parisian people walking in the, in, in the underground. When you are in, in Manila, people are smiling all, all the time. They have nothing, but they are smiling. Why? There is a problem. There is a really a problem. When, we, when you meet microcredit beneficiaries, it's very interesting because they receive you with, with very, very big smiles and they are stand up in, the, in their shoes, I should say maybe in their tongue, I don't know what we say in, 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 in English, but, but they are very proud to show you that they are able uh, to go out of poverty because of their business, because of their, of their, of their microcredit. So, I was saying, I was wondering, what is missing in, in, in your product? And there is, I thought about a link we can do between our two industries and our two, our, our two jobs, our two products. You know, in the slums where I go often, my first surprise was to discover that there are many people working with your product. There are many people uh, Haircut services, uh, uh, people uh, uh, selling cosmetic product in, in very poor area. Why is this fact? You have to know the, another figure on, on, on uh, microcredit. There is in the world 100, 190 million people, 190 microcredit beneficiaries. And in this, in this uh, population, 80% of microcredit beneficiaries a woman. Why? Because microcredit has, has been built as a, a very interesting tool of social inclusion for, for women. The first point. The second point is that we consider then that uh, women are better in paying back their, uh, their, uh, their loan. Guys used to go to the football match. They used to go to drink. They go to use uh, to find another woman or to go to the war. But they are not. They don't take care uh, hundred percent of their time of the family. And and we discovered the professor Yunus discovered that that uh, women were much more efficient than 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 men in, in paying back their their credit. And. Uh, Thinking about the, these figures and the fact that there is many uh, business, uh, that cosmetic business in slums, I was saying to myself, 
there is a natural bridge between your industry and all these, uh, these people. Just how can we imagine a link between microfinance, microcredit, and, and your industry or another industry? We spoke yesterday about, about uh, yogurt, Ledvash. And uh, what did Ledvash did with, uh, with us, but it could have been with another uh, such platform? They said, we are producer of, uh, of yogurt, and, uh, but at the other side of the chain, uh, there, is, there are, farm, uh, there are f farming uh, people, farming cows. And they said, why not creating a link between the product and uh, farmers uh, uh, taking care of cows? And uh, they created a game on the on the on the website of on the on the Le de Vache websites so that customers can play and when they play the app with the application they create a kind of complementary uh, uh, monies and and, and 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 at each time a user play on the application Le de Vache use to lend money to a uh, Farm, farmers taking cows of, of, of cows on on of cows on uh, on Babylon, and it's a very interesting way to link uh, customers with social action with microcredit uh, with uh, with Babylon because we can have a such uh, industry approach in the project we propose to uh, to the companies and to the, the to their to their user and, and customers. So for you, I was thinking once again, about, about perfect product, a perfect approach, uh, including the third P, the people dimension. I say, why not giving sense to your product? Why not creating some social cosmetic product, not, on the, not only on the, on the producer side, but, but uh, also on the consumer side? When you buy it for you, the cream you, you apply in the morning, you could buy it maybe for someone else. And then maybe you will become uh, less gray and a little bit tanned in, in, the, in, the other, in the underground in the morning. I think it's something you, you can imagine. And don't think it's a, it's, a, it's a joke or a gadget. What we, we spoke about that yesterday. What we are seeing right now coming from the U.S., uh, this huge campaign uh, linking products with, uh, with uh, uh, ethical projects, with, uh, with the NGOs, uh, it is a, a very, very strong trend which is arriving from the U.S. in, in Europe. And uh, this is one way. There are many, many others for sure. But this, this is one way of thinking about the third P in, in maybe the perfect product you are, you are looking for. Thank you.